Today we're going to be coloring a music video for Lil Tecca, let's hop right into it. So open in Premiere Pro here, we have three clips from the Money On Me music video. I love the colors in this video so much, but I went ahead and converted them into flat footage so we can color them today. To color this video, we're going to be using my LUT pack that has over 250 plus different unique LUTs in it for a steal of a price. If you guys want to go check it out, it's linked in the description, but you guys can follow along with your own LUTs as well. So to get started, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create an adjustment layer. We're going to drag and drop that inside of our timeline. I'm going to extend it and crop it to our footage here, and we're going to be coloring directly on the adjustment layer here. But to get started, I'm going to click on the adjustment layer and then go over to my Lumetri color tab. And I'm going to open up the creative section and under look, I'm going to hit none and then hit browse. Opened up here is the Tiny Tapes Ultimate LUT pack that I was talking about earlier. As you guys can see, we have one through 282 different LUTs and then seven additional film LUTs. We're going to go ahead with a completely random LUT here. Let's go with uh, 202 here. And when we throw that on, we have a really cool look. It really brings out the oranges and we can expand on that a little bit more if we go into basic correction here. I'm going to add some green into it just like that. Turn up the contrast, turn up the highlights a bit just like so turn down the shadows maybe add a little bit of blue in there turn up the whites and a little bit more green in there because i love my greens and i think that's a super unique look there if we go ahead and turn it on and off i'm loving the way that's looking you guys can even expand on it a little bit more by throwing on one of my vintage matte overlays i'm going to go ahead and drag and drop this on and then going over to effect controls i can scale it down so it fits and boom we have a really cool border just like that now moving on to this next one here we're going to do the exact same thing by clicking on the adjustment layer going over to lumetri color opening up creative and then opening up our lut pack here going with another Another completely random LUT. Let's go with 111. And that's a super clean look there. We can expand on that by going into basic correction here. I'm going to turn up the saturation because I love the way that's looking. Turn up the shadows a little bit. Turn up the contrast. Highlights a little bit. Maybe add some green in there. Just a tad bit. Turn on the blacks a bit. And that's looking amazing there. We can spice this up a little bit more by dragging on another one of these overlays. I went ahead and threw on the dirty one here, just like so, just to give it that dirty border. And then below that as well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw on my grain from my film looks pack, scale it down, and set it to overlay and that really adds to the look as you guys can see looks super clean we have the before then the after and moving on to our final clip here i always love the way this scene looked here clicking on the adjustment layer going over to lumetri color we're going to open up creative under look hit browse and another completely random light here just to show you guys how fire this LUT pack is let's go with 247 and boom that's a creative look there it's turning the greens into this orange color so we can expand on that by going into basic correction turning up the contrast turning up the saturation maybe turning down the shadows just like that turning up the highlights and then we can add a little bit more green in there or if you want to make the effect a little bit more crazier you can turn it pink just like that so you can go ahead and play with the greens a little bit more if you do want but i like the way it looks right now it's really clean and if we duplicate that exact grain we have on there and extend it it really adds a lot to the look there and then what we can also do as well is holding alt and dragging up on our clip we can create two of them go over to effect and if we go into my film look pack here go under vintage glow we can drag and drop vintage glow highlights on medium and it's going to make everything pop and glow a little bit more as you guys can see there and boom we have the before and the after with that cool film look there looking super clean if you guys learned something from this video make sure to leave a like and subscribe as well because i'm going to be uploading every single day for the rest of the month and if you do want to go check out the ultimate love pack it'll be linked in the description below i'll see you guys in the next video peace